hello dear students in this lecture we will be discussing another technique of plant biotechnology and that is your agrose gel electrophoresis which is also called as age so what is age or agrose gel electrophoresis the principle of this electrophoresis is that it is a method to separate dna by applying an electric field to move the charged dna molecules through an agrose gel so agrose gel electrophoresis uh, is also called as horizontal gel electrophoresis in which the dna molecules are separated by their size in a gel matrix made of agrose most agrose gels which are used in this electrophoresis they are in the range of 0.7 to 2 percent and in this the agrose is dissolved in a electrophoresis buffer which is generally tbe or tae which is tris boric acid edta in case of tbe and tris acetic acid and edta in case of tae buffer and the separated dna molecules are then viewed uh, in presence of uv light in a trans illuminator where the dna is viewed with the help of fluorescent dye ethidium bromide so here you can see that the fluorescent orange yellow colored dna they are your dna molecules which are fluorescing orange uh with the help of uh ethidium bromide and this we can see only under uv light and we have to be very uh, cautious when we are using trans illuminator uv trans illuminator that we should not expose ourselves now what are the requirements uh, of the this uv light uh, gel electrophoresis which is your age or agrose gel electrophoresis so it requires a electrophoresis chamber with a power supply that is your first requirement then it requires gel casting trays to make a, a, a gel uh, with the help of combs and in this uh, the open ends of the trays are closed with the tape when the gel is being cast and then they are removed prior to uh, electrophoresis so as we have already discussed it requires combs uh, to make wells where the dna can be loaded so uh, around which the molten medium is poured to form sample wells in the gel then it we require electrophoresis buffer it can be tris it can be a, a ta buffer or tb buffer and ta consists of tris acetic acid and edta and in case of tb it is tris boric acid and edta then uh, to track when the uh, gel is run where the dna is running we need a loading buffer uh, which is generally dense to allow sample to or to allow the dna sample to fall into wells and uh, it this loading buffer requires a tracking die which migrates in the gel and allows visual monitoring uh, as to how far the electrophoresis has proceeded then as we have already discussed it requires a stain so dna molecules are easily vis visualized under uv light mm, uh, in the presence of the stain uh, ethidium bromide which is a fluorescent dye and then the last requirement is your trans illuminator uh, which consists of a uh, ultraviolet a light box and it is used to see dna so here you can see these are the requirements of the agrose gel electrophoresis so this is your gel tank or electrophoresis unit it is this is power supply and then in this unit you can see that uh, there are two electrodes which are black and red colored black colored electrode is your negative electrode and the um red colored is your positive electrode so positive electrode is red colored which is your anode and negative 
और ब्लैक कलर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड इज योर कैथोड सो डी एन ए ऑलवेज मूव्स फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड बिकॉज द डी एन ए इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो इट विल मूव फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड सो इन दिस इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस यूनिट दीज आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस यूनिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज लेड ऑफ द टैंक दिस इज कास्टिंग यूनिट सो दिस कास्टिंग यूनिट इज कॉल्ड योर जेल ट्रे दिस जेल ट्रे हैज कॉम्स एंड टू मेक वेल इन द जेल दीज आर द कनेक्शन टू विच द इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर कनेक्टेड एन ओड एंड कैथोड एंड दिस इज योर टैंक विच इज यूज टू रन द जेल सो दिस इज दिस इज द पिक्टोरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दिस इज द कमर्शियल सप्लाई विच वी गेट फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द कंपनीज लाइक बायोरैड और टारसेंस एंड देन वेन द जेल इज रन देन इट इज कास्टेड इन अ हॉरिजोंटल मैनर लाइक दिस एंड सो हियर द वेल्स आर मेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द कॉम एंड देन द सैम्पल इज लोडेड इन द वेल इन इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस बफर एंड डी एन ए बिकॉज इट इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज ऑफ सो सो इट विल मूव फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव सो वेरी केयरफुली वी हैव टू कीप द वेल साइड ऑन कैथोड साइड एंड देन द डी एन ए विल मूव फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव सो वेन द पावर सप्लाई इज कनेक्टेड वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट द वेल्स आर ऑन द कैथोड साइड एंड द द अदर साइड इज योर एनोड so the from well the dna will come out and it will move from negative to positive electrode and so how we will we will know that what is negative and what is positive or what is cathode and what is anode because the cathode is generally black colored in electrophoresis unit and the anode is red colored so here like you, here you can see that this is your cathode because this is red and this is uh, uh this is uh, this is uh, anode because this is red and uh, black colored is your cathode so we will when the gel is run we will be putting the well side of the gel here uh, on the black side and the dna will move from this negative side to positive side so in the procedure as we have already discussed the first step is casting of gel so the casting of gel is generally 0.5 uh, 0.8% tb e agros uh, gel is made in tb buffer or tae buffer and the samples are loaded this is the second step so the loading buffer uh, includes colored dyes such as xylene cyanol and bromophenol blue to monitor the progress of electrophoresis and the dna samples are then loaded using a micro pipette then the third step is that after the loading is done electrophoresis is carried out in presence of um uh, in presence of electric field and the last step is staining and visualization in transdeminator so like here you can see that this is a casting Uh, unit in this this gel is there and here in the second picture you can see that there uh, this is uh, the dna is fluorescing orange because of the presence of ethidium bromide and in third picture at the bottom you can see that the person is visualizing uh, the dna in trans illuminator so this is a electrophoresis unit where you can see that the gel is running and uh, you can see that the uh, dna is running from uh, negative side to positive side so here you can see that uh, these blue colored this is this is your tracking dye which consists which uh, shows the progress of the electrophoresis so this blue dye is uh, it it is visible with the naked eye and this has xylene cyanol and bromophenol blue so the dna has run from uh, neg uh, from negative electrode to positive electrode and so this is the time to stop the electrophoresis 
because it has reached at the end of the gel and this is how you can see this is another picture where you can see that the dna has been loaded in the wells and they are blue in color because of the presence of bromophenol blue and xanil cyanol and you can see that this electrophoresis unit the well side is on the black colored electrode so the dna will move black colored electrode represents negative electrode so the dna will move from negative electrode to positive electrode uh, so here the direction of this arrow shows that they will be moving from negative to positive electrode so what are the applications of this technique agros gel electrophoresis it helps in the estimation of size of dna molecules in analysis of pcr products which are your polymerase chain reaction products like molecular genetic uh, diagnosis or genetic fingerprinting then it helps in separation of restricted genomic dna prior to southern analysis or rna prior to northern analysis so agros gel electrophoresis is very helpful in uh, separation of the restricted dna molecules then it is widely employed to estimate the size of dna fragments after digestion with restriction enzymes uh, and in case of clone dna and it is commonly used to resolve circular dna with different supercoiled topology to resolve fragments that differ due to dna synthesis in addition to providing an excellent medium for fragment size analysis it helps in the purification of dna fragments in making probes etc and uh, this uh, is necessary for a number of molecular techniques such as cloning uh, to uh, uh, to purify the dna from the gel so there are various applications so the agros gel electrophoresis is also helpful in making uh, southern blots and also in dna fingerprinting so there are various applications of uh, southern blotting and here you can see uh, that um, uh, this dna is fluorescing because of ethidium bromide this is a agros gel where the dna we can see now these are the different lanes so what are the lanes showing the first lane here you can see that these are your molecular markers of uh, standard size like here the dna moves from uh, 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 the dna at the top is of highest molecular mass say 20 kilo basis and dna at the bottom is of uh, smallest molecular mass say 2 kb so from this standard molecular markers which are loaded on the first uh, column we can make out the size of the unknown dna molecules say for, for example we have one two three four five lanes in which the dna samples have been loaded so we can see, just make out that these this uh, uh, this fragment is coming between 5 to 10 kb so probably this is your 9 kb fragment and here in this you can see that this is uh, probably less than 2 kb so this is how we make out the size of the unknown dna molecules and uh, this is how it is helpful uh, in various techniques so i hope you have understood this topic agros gel electrophoresis and for your better understanding please refer to good books of biotechnology uh, to make your concepts clear thank you students let's meet in next lecture now